Hi, I'm Phil Berman from Balanced Catamarans, and uh, I'm here answering some of the frequently asked questions that we've gotten over the years at Balanced Catamarans. Uh, a, a question a lot of people ask me is, you know, well, sh should I spend extra to get li the lithium-ion battery system? And I can tell you uh, is straight and honest about me is that, because um, I've sold 850 catamarans in my life, and I attend surveys all the time, um, I wouldn't say I'm new technology adverse, but I generally advise my clients to uh, avoid the bleeding edge and maybe get on the leading edge. And, you know, I've seen the struggles over the years of electric engines. I've seen some, I saw the early struggles with lithium ion batteries and some boat fires and some things like that. So I was very hesitant at first to recommend that people get lithium. Um, now I really do feel that, that the lithium ion batteries are really, really dialed in. And the, the one thing I would say when you're getting a lithium system is that it's really, really important not to mix and match components. And so the way we are at Balance is that, that we will either do uh, a, a total Victron system or a total Master Volt system. And we want to use all the componentry and the batteries and everything that comes only from those suppliers. Um, both A, that keeps your warranties from getting void, uh, being voided, but everything is designed to be integrated. And the one thing that I see a lot of people do is they have boats that were done with gel, gel batteries. They said, oh, I'm going to put lithium ion batteries in my boat. And I'll tell you that unless you really have the proper charging systems and the proper monitoring systems, and unless you upsize the wiring um, of your boat in key areas and you have alternators that are going to work with it, it's not really such a good idea. Um, there's lithium systems and there's lithium systems. And a proper lithium system needs to be designed from the ground up to be a lithium boat. Um, but I would say now the advantages of a lithium boat are absolutely exceptional. And, you know, the, the one that, that is really, well, there's a lot of advantages, but one really key one is that, you know, in the brokerage business over the years, people will call you up, well, should I get a 110 boat? Should I get a 220 boat? Um, and that, and I say, well, where are you going to be operating your boat? And what is it that you want to do when you're at the dock? And the issue is that, you know, you had the difference between a 50 hertz and 60 hertz motors that were running in air and air con units and, and a variety of different things on the boat. And that, you know, create, create, creates a real problem. And so, you know, Americans would tend to say, oh, well, I've got to get a boat, a 110 boat, because I'm going to be plugging in in America. And Europeans are, you know, want a 220 boat. And then people say, well, what's the best boat for voyaging? Well, guess what? Now, eh, with lithium, it's, it doesn't even matter because you can plug into any shore power system. Everything comes in directly to your inverter charger system. The inverter charger system charges lithium batteries and you design the boats to run everything on the boat off of the lithium system. So that's really, really nice. The other thing that I like about lithium system is that now we're getting to the point where because it's so efficient, um, we're now starting to use um, electric or convection stove ovens on the boat so we can do away with propane. And Gosh, you know, when you can do away with propane, you've also done with another hassle when you're voyaging, which is arriving in some country that has a different type of propane bottle, different type of system, different type of fittings. And so you're messing around trying to come up with some concoction to uh, fill up your propane tanks or doing some jury rig. And truly, really, the most dangerous thing on a boat is a propane system because on a catamaran, it's really only a tr catastrophic fire that would keep you um, from ever leaving the boat. I mean, you think about it like, a life raft on a catamaran, your catamaran is your life raft. And really, if, if, you're, if, you're, if your boat is designed and safe so that it doesn't catch on fire, you mean it's really, really in great shape. The other thing about lithium that's awesome, of course, is that you can drain it down and it charges fast. And when you drain it down and come back up, you're not killing the batteries like you are with the gel batteries. Gel batteries require such careful management, you know, and, and just invariably, uh, people make boo-boos, somebody borrows their boat, somebody forgets to put on a switch, they drain their batteries down pretty soon after a while, they just aren't working very well and you have to replace them. So lithium ion batteries last longer, they charge much faster, they allow you to drain them down, they charge back up really quickly, it, it's just, you know, really, they're just really fantastic. It is the case though that they are more expensive and, um, you know, it's a Christmas present if you will, but it's a really good Christmas present um, to put on your boat if you can afford it.